What's going on guys? This is Jigsaw here. Today what you guys are going to be watching is a brief analysis on COD Champs, which I'm sure many of you watched uh, last week, and it was an amazing tournament. I have a lot of things to say about that, but before we talk about that, I would like to say uh, one to all my new subscribers. I've gotten quite a few lately. Um, I want to say thank you for subscribing and welcome to my channel. Hope you're here to stay for a while. Hope you enjoy what you see here. And uh, to those of you who've been waiting for a video for the past few days, I wanted to say sorry for the delay. I've had a lot going on in my personal life with school and stuff like that, so I haven't had a lot of time um, you know, to do anything really besides school. So uh, it's, it's been a lot of work, um, but you know, thank you for bearing with me and waiting for this video. So here it is. So as you all know, uh, Complexity has won Call of Duty Championships, and in my opinion, Optic should have won. If you, uh, if you watched my last video on... Um, on the preview of COD Champs, what I sort of talked about how the tournament worked and how I thought it would end up, I did call Complexity winning, although, I mean, you know, you gotta give me props for that for calling the winner, but at the same time, you know, I called the favorite, so it's it's sort of like, you know, it goes both ways, but um, yeah, a lot of people saw Complexity winning, um, I did not think Envy would make it to the uh, finals, but um, that was surprising to me. I thought I thought Strictly Business was going to do bad, but they didn't. They did pretty well. They made the money, so that's good for them. Awesome for that organization. They're definitely an up-and-coming team to be reckoned with for sure. Which you know, I think it's awesome that you see a new, newer organization uh, coming into the scene and just having success. That's great. TK, however, did not do so awesome. Uh, they didn't even make money. This was one of their worst placings in a long time as an organization, and. You know, a lot of people saw the Optic game where they, they 3 0 would TK. Like, what? How does that happen? Um, that was unreal. I I really didn't think they were going to, you know, do that bad. I thought they were going to probably make the quarters at least, but, you know, they didn't. And that's a shame for them. But, uh, you know, a lot of other teams stepped up. Like that Australian team, Trident T1 Daughters, I think that's what their name was. They surprised a lot of teams. You know, they got pretty far. Uh, the fact that they were in the money is unreal because, you know, COD isn't as big overseas as it is in America, um, so the teams from overseas generally aren't as good, but wow, uh, this team really impressed, but uh, you know, at the end of the day, when they played Optic, they couldn't hang, Optic won, I watched, I think all of Optic's tournament matches, I didn't watch the placement matches in the uh, the pool play, but I did watch, um, I did watch bracket play, and it was great, Optic surprise me you know I said it was gonna be a long shot for them to do well and that was the general opinion coming into the tournament optic has been a team that people felt were not gonna do well they don't have the same talent that they have in the past years um, but I I called their finish I said top five or top three and it was third place so um, again right on the money with that one kinda gotta give me props for that one a little bit more because you know even though I'm an optic fan and I root for optic you know, being able to call them in the top three when they made third place is actually pretty crazy considering no one thought they were going to do well. Overall, though, I think we did see some awesome Call of Duty this weekend. Team Envious surprised everyone, I think. Complexity performed like they should have. Although, I will say this, Optic should have won that tournament. It's a shame that they blew their lead on Complexity and they lost to Envy. Uh, as you all know, they were up 2-1 to one on Complexity and they had an 18 point uh, differential at the second side of Sovereign Dom and they blew it. They blew an 18 point lead and uh, and they ended up losing you know the whole series because of that. And then they went down to losers bracket to play Envy who won the losers finals and they did terrible against Envy which is a shame because as soon as they lost to Envy I knew uh, you know <laughs> Envy couldn't hang with complexity. Optic was the only team throughout the whole tournament that could hang with complexity which is actually a huge surprise to me but Optic was, was the only team that could hang, and Envy couldn't do it. You know, Envy got 3 0 in the finals. It wasn't even close. The games were not close. But, you know, Complexity deserves the win. They're a good team. I hate the team, to be honest. I think they're a bunch of pricks, if, you know, if you're asking me for my opinion. I think they're very cocky. Like, yeah, you're good. I expect some, you know, a little bit of cockiness, more confidence than anything. But,. I don't know. I don't really like teams that really gloat and brag and are, you know, they know they're going to win. There's a difference between confidence and cockiness, and I think complexity has the uh, the cockiness a little bit too down. 
So they need to fix that up before I can approve of them in my own mind. But, you know, overall, it was a great tournament, an awesome weekend filled with fantastic Call of Duty. A lot of money was taken home and, you know, a lot of great a lot of great gameplay was watched. I had a lot of fun watching the tournament. I watched as many matches as I could. I watched all of the Optic matches, like I said. And I did watch a couple other matches here and there. I couldn't tell you the teams. I don't remember. Um, but, you know, great Call of Duty, great tournament. And if anything, I think it provided inspiration to a lot of up-and-coming, uh, you know, guys who want to become pro players. So, good for you if that's your dream. Uh, stick with it and work hard. And who knows? Maybe we'll see one of you guys at COD Champs next year. So thanks so much for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, go ahead and hit that like button down below. Also, be sure to subscribe to my channel for more awesome videos just like this one. This is Jigsaw signing out.